Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Today we're gonna to look at a lot of cases for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. You're definitely gonna to wanna to use the links down below to check out these cases because they come in different colors, different variations, and, and the pricing on these cases is going to vary as well. We're gonna look at cases that are more premium and we're gonna look at some budget cases as well. And I'll do my best to mention which is which, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to use those links. Also, this video is long and so using the timestamps is going to help you get around this video quite a bit. Now, before I dive into these cases, I want you to know that I have some more content for the S22 Ultra coming. And then I also have a cases video that I did for the S22. For those of you that know somebody with an S22, definitely send them that video. But in the very near future, we're going to have some videos that teach you everything that there is to know about your S22. So uh, for those of you that want an in-depth tutorial, that's coming. Also, my full review and then also some photography videos that teach you how to shoot better images with your S22 Ultra. So the first case that we're gonna look at is from Spec. This is the Presidio Grip 2 case, and it's one of my favorite cases. I've been buying the Presidio Grip case for ages, and a while back they changed up the grippiness to it just a little bit, where you've got edge grip on the side of the phone, and then you've got inverted grip on the bottom of the phone, which works really well, because obviously these are wireless chargeable phones, and you can't have bumpy grips on the back like the case used to have. So I really love this case. I've been buying it for years for every single smartphone that I have, and it provides great protection all the way around. Now, my phone's a little dusty here because it's been in and out of my pocket many times today with this case on, but this case has really good protection all the way around the edges and uh, a bit of face down protection, more so on the top and the bottom of the case. And so because you've got the edge and so when we set this down, it's nice and flat and sits flat on the table. Then when we rotate it around here, also nice and flat on the table so we don't have any rocking. Um, I love the buttons. I love everything about this case. Spec does a fantastic job with this case. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of cases to look through here. So we're going to cut out the changing of the cases and we're just going to jump into the next case. So the next case we're looking at is from iBlazon. This is the Ares and Gray. And this case is a two-piece case. So this inner, uh, this inner portion here that looks more metallic slaps on Onto your phone first and then you put the outer bumper all the way around it. It does have protection on the back but you can see through so we can see the nice color. Pardon my camera trying to focus. You can see the nice color of your phone and it fits the phone really well. It provides really good edge protection and so you know you drop your phone, it lands on one of these edges, you're going to be fine. It's got good face down or screen down protection as well. Um, providing a lot more on the top and the bottom, just like the spec case. And uh, it does not have a built-in screen protector though, this particular case. So provides good protection. It sits nice and flat, rotate it over, sits nice and flat. And so just good overall protection on this case while still giving you a look at the back of your phone, letting you see that beautiful color that you chose and um, nice protection around the camera module as well. And then of course the raised edges uh, around the edges of the phone which helps keep it nice and balanced when laying flat on the table. So I, I do like this case. Uh, this case is a bit much for me personally, but for those of you that need a little bit more protection in your case, here it is coming apart with the two pieces, and then we would slide this, uh, this inner shell off, and then that goes into the case. So this case is the Thin Armor case from Encased, and it's a nice minimal case with a lot of protection all the way around your phone, uh, but not necessarily getting in the way as, some, as much as some other cases do. So we have a little bit of protection here on the top and the bottom, not as much as the others, no built-in screen protector or anything like that, but this case does a good job of providing protection around your device without bulking up your device. And so it's got a, a texture on the back, uh, that doesn't really add much grip to the case at all, but it is a nice style. Uh, we've got protection around the camera module here. Um, good, uh, you know, face down, it doesn't rock, nice and solid. On the back, it, it has a tiny bit of rock to it, but not too much. Overall, I like this case. This was the first case that I put on this phone, um, and it protects it really well. Our next case is from Clayco. This is their Xeon or Zenon series in black, and it provides a lot of protection. Um, like uh, one of the earlier cases we looked at, good amount of protection all the way around this case here. Uh, buttons are 
nice and pronounced. You've got lots of protection. You can see there's a bit of a thickness to the base of this case, and so it adds a lot of protection. It does have a built-in screen protector and um, unlocks just fine. Didn't have to reprogram my fingerprint uh, in order to unlock it, so that's nice. Unlocks really fast. With the built-in screen protector, I definitely feel more secure with my phone. I think that Samsung phones need screen protectors on them. They are easy to scratch up, even though they are durable, they do scratch up. So one thing that I haven't talked about so much yet because it hasn't been an issue is just S Pin and port access. Um, the S Pin is back in there a little bit, but it's cut out so that you can get your finger in there and get access to it. Bigger cases like this, are it's something you gotta look out for is how accessible is your S Pin and your port uh, because it's back in there a little bit. So I do like this Clayco case, definitely a lot more going on here, but it's uh, designed for more protection. It doesn't rock when it is screen side down and on the back side, it does kind of rock a little bit side to side, but not, not terrible, it's not bad. Overall, this is a great case with a ton of protection. It's got a little bit of uh, a nice look to it, a silicone feel on the back, not hard plastic but nice silicone feel, so it is smooth. It does add a bit of, of size to your phone though. So, you know, this already being a big phone, you know, I've got a pretty good size hand and it takes a lot to grip and get around this phone. And so trying to reach and access things on the other side of the phone, you're definitely going to have to two hand this phone now with a case like this on if you have smaller hands. Uh, if you have bigger hands, you should be okay. This is the metal kickstand case from ESR. It is a clear silicone case that has a metal kickstand built into it. And so that kickstand comes out like so, and it works for standing your phone straight up and down, but also on its side like so. Uh, very nice. I mean, this metal kickstand is, I mean, it's pretty durable. And so you're not gonna have to worry about that uh, breaking. It definitely is good support for your phone and a neat feature to have built into the case. It does add quite a bit of lift to your case here. So your phone now sits kind of at a down slope, which is a little bit interesting. And so a little bit of a down slope. It does sit flat though and doesn't rock. And on the front side, it also sits nicely. It does not have a ton of face down protection or screen down protection, a little bit of a lip, but not a lot. And of course the rest of the case is clear, allowing you to see your phone in its entirety. There is a little bit of a, uh, an area here around the corners, just adding a little bit more corner protection on a case that otherwise feels pretty slim. The next case is the Glide Pro case from VRS Design. This is a wallet case that uh, has access to cards, and so you put your cards in here, it makes it very easy to access them with the spring-loaded slide door. Um, and, uh, you know, plenty of room, I'd say, for probably about four cards back there. Very nice, and uh, definitely a case that adds a bit to your phone. You can see here there is a bit of thickness added to the back of the phone, but it doesn't feel bad in your hand. I mean, it's it feels like a typical wallet case, uh, but it seats nicely into your hand. You probably do need to have a little bit bigger of a hand for a case like this, or you're gonna lose control of it. But it does also have kind of a more masculine look, very durable look to this case uh, with some grip along the side. We've got the fake screws holding it all together just to make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, manly, I guess you could say. And uh, good protection around the cameras and everything there. We've got good protection on the front, um, accessible to your S Pin, but it is in there a little bit, your S Pin. It's not as pronounced, um, but it's not hard to get to it either. The port is definitely in there a little bit. And so you're going to want to make sure that you have a plug that's going to fit in there. Of course, the uh, standard one that comes with your S22 is going to fit just fine. And so overall, this is a nice case. If you're looking for a wallet case, definitely adds a lot of protection. Some wallet cases are kind of a pain in the butt to get your cards in and out. And so with this slide door, it's definitely a very accessible, makes it easy to get your cards in and out of the case. So a nice uh, masculine looking case with a card holder, wallet style integration, and also a lot of protection all the way around. It's definitely not going to sit perfectly flat, but it does because of the size of the wallet area sits nicely, but obviously it's, it's going to teeter. Um, but on the face of the, uh, the face down, screen side down, sits nice and flat. So overall a great case, especially for those of you looking for something to hold a few of your cards. 
Now, there's nothing too exciting about this case. I'm not even really sure the name of it. It says Discover Innovation right here, which I, I hate it when they do that. But the unique feature about this is that it has a camera door and it covers and closes up your camera. So for those of you that are privacy minded, of course, there isn't any cover for your front facing camera. But for your rear facing camera, if you want protection or if you're privacy minded, this slide door is actually kind of a neat feature. It does snap into place, so it's not going to accidentally close on you if you are holding your phone with the door up it's it stays in place really well and then it snaps closed so I think that's kind of a neat feature it does have a good amount of grip the back of the phone is kind of ridged a little bit and the side has grip on it the front is fairly minimal with a little bit of a raise on the top and the bottom as with most edge cases and we've got good access to our s pen and our ports and all that good stuff so I'm guessing you would pronounce this Nilekin n-i-l-l-i K-I-N or K-I-N. Um, I'll make sure to link it up down below so that you could check it out. But interesting feature, if you're looking for something that covers up your camera, then this is one of the few cases that has that option. Now, a lot of times when I get these cases, they don't even really have any branding of their own, especially the more budget cases. This particular case just says cell phone case, quality of life, simple and protect, and then has uh, a name that I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce on the back. But I'm guessing that it is Humix because that is the web address and I have seen Humix cases before. I am familiar with Humix cases. This is a nice case, um, despite the fact that the branding's a little confusing. It doesn't have any branding on the case, which I don't mind at all. Um, has a nice silicone feel to it. Um, has edges around it so that we know this case is going to sit nice and flat and it's not gonna rock all over the table. Same with the uh, screen side down. Nice and, uh, and does not rock. We've got a uh, pronounced edge around the camera module, which is nice good protection there. We've got buttons that are easy to use and no screen protector integrated here. Overall, I do really like this case. I think it has a nice, uh, simple design. It has some kind of reinforced protection around the edges here, which a lot of times on cases, I mean, I don't think any of the cases we've looked at so far, but cases of the past with the edge uh, tend to get a little weak around the corners. But at the same time, these edges having a little bit more of a ridge here uh, may, may make it a little harder for you to see the corners. I don't know, probably not that big of a deal. I'm looking into it a little further than I probably need to. But overall, I do like this case. I think it's a good protection case. It has good protection on the corners, which is also an area where some cases for the um, these edge style phones fall a little bit short. So overall, pretty good case, I would say, from Humix. Uh, Humix needs to do a better job of putting their name on their uh, cases, or at least on the box of their cases, because I think it's a, it's a name that, for most of us that have been on Amazon looking at cases for a while, we've seen the brand, and we think it's, uh, I think it's a good name. So let's put it on our cases, guys. And uh, the Humix case, um, don't know anything other than it's the cell phone case, and it is for the S22 Ultra but overall pretty good. Now, when I was looking at cases for the S22, I found this one from Tim Dan. It is a waterproof, snowproof, dustproof, all around everything proof case, which I thought was really interesting. And so I picked one up for the S22 Ultra. This case snaps together and has seals going all the way around it, and it protects your phone even further than the IP68 that it already comes with. Uh, it has a little uh, hole here for a lanyard, so you can attach the lanyard and have a wrist strap. Uh, it comes with some other things uh, to help clean out your phone and just keep it nice and clean before you put it in the case because you definitely need that. It has a, a transparent back, so you can see the color of your phone nicely. It's got solid protection all the way around and a built-in screen protector. I have found that with this particular case, you do need to reprogram your thumbprint to uh, get that uh, unlock to work. But overall, this case is very protective and it's probably gonna protect your phone even more than any other case that we've looked at. The port down here on the bottom is kind of a challenge. I, I had to really like get after it uh, to get it open. It has a seal all the way around it as well. And so keeping out dust, keeping out water and protecting your port from uh, filling with junk. And then of course, a door for the S Pen that pops open as well so that we have access to our S Pen. 
So even though I've had pretty much every S phone and Note phone for a very long time, and since they've been IP68 water resistant, I've gone swimming, taken my phone, and all sorts of elements and not had any issues. For those of you that want even more protection, a case like this is definitely gonna be a must. So I'll go ahead and just pull it apart here so that you can see what it looks like. The back of the case peels off and it does seat really tightly. And so you just have to be careful here. You know, you don't wanna damage anything or break any of the seals for when you put your phone back in it. Um, but it peels off. We've got a seal that goes all the way around the edges here and protects even around the edges of our, um, our flash module. And so lots of protection there. And then of course your phone just kind of pops right out of the main case body. And uh, you just gotta get it out of there. It's, it's a tight fit and a really nice case as far as uh, uh, I'm concerned. I mean, it comes with the little lanyard. It comes with a little squeegee in case you get any little bumps. It comes with a cleaning cloth and all that good stuff. So overall, a really nice case. And I think it adds a different kind of form and function to your phone, additional protection from those elements that you just can't get around sometimes. Our next case is the Edge Pro Unicorn Beetle Series SUP case, and this case provides a lot of protection. It's a two-piece case, has a built-in screen protector, and uh, provides a lot of protection on your phone. Of course, the screen protector being really good. It has a metallic finish, um, see-through on the back, so you can see uh, the design of your phone, the color, and all that good stuff. Nice uh, silicone protection around the camera module. Overall, a decent case. It does add a bit. The sides of the phone is, it's a bit slick. So, you know, you're, you're gonna need a good grip on this case, but overall provides a lot of good protection. The corners are, are you know, very silicone, gonna provide some good corner drop protection as well. Um, sits nice and flat on the table, and then of course rotating over sits nice and flat as well. So none of that weird rocky business. We've got good access to our S Pen down here below. A good cutout for our finger, so primarily accessible from this side uh, access there, and good port access as well. So overall, a decent case. I think a little slick on the sides. I would appreciate a little bit of grippiness to the sides of this case, just considering the fact that it does add a bit to the phone itself. Uh, it would make it a little bit easier to hold on to. The buttons feel really nice. I do like that. And of course, unlocks without having to reprogram my thumbprint. So overall, really good case. Now we're gonna look at the Tough Armor from Spigen. This case has a built-in kickstand, which is kind of cool. So um, it doesn't really work unless you have your phone in kind of landscape mode. And so landscape mode, the kickstand comes out and the phone will sit up nicely, but it's not going to work in an, any other view. It has a nice uh, kind of grippiness and a, uh, I don't know, it has a good feel to the side of it. I grabbed this case uh, with the phone in it and it just really felt good in the hand. The buttons I like because they're they're not pronounced and sticking out, but there's a bit of a grip to the buttons so that you know when you are touching them and where they are located. So overall, this is a nice case. It has uh, a good access to the S Pen. I like how it's kind of trimmed out there so you don't really have to dig your finger in there trying to get to the S Pen. Good port access, overall a really nice case without having too much going on on the front of the case. It does have a little bit more protection on the top and the bottom as you go screen down uh, and protecting against the screen from coming in contact with stuff. And then of course, uh, the back of the case flat down on the table as well is really nice. So a little bit of a kickstand here, not too much, and it is a little flimsy. Um, but I, I think, you know, it, it does its job, set your phone up, um, you know, you, there's not too much weight there. I mean, you wouldn't want to push back on your phone or anything like that too much, but overall, it's nice to have the kickstand there. It's got the Spigen branding on it as well. So overall, a really nice case. The Torres shockproof case has always been just kind of a favorite of mine over the last several years since they've been making this design. I, I really like it. One of the cool things that I think about this case is that you can replace the buttons and it comes with different color buttons. So you've got like kind of some neon yellow or green and you've got some uh, more kind of orange brown color buttons here as well. And so you can swap those out. They just pop out and you pop the new ones back in. It comes with the black ones in with a really sleek look, but adding a little bit of a color 
texture to your case just adds a little bit of personality. For me, who likes the dark cases, the black color, I like my phones that color and everything, sometimes it's nice just to add a little bit of color to the case. The shockproof case uh, feels good in the hand, has good protection uh, added to the top and the bottom here of the case for your screen down protection while not encroaching on the edges of the case. And so nice curved edges are still available and uh, unobstructed views of any of your content. The buttons feel good, even when you, in my past experiences, swapping out the buttons, it just feels nice. Um, you know, the, the color, I think, is just a cool touch that it comes with that. The case uh, is nice and flat face down, and of course, on the back side, nice and flat as well. And so this is a well-balanced case with the buttons. Uh, you know, I had this case for the last iPhone that I used and also for the last Galaxy phone that I used. And the volume button, power buttons, being able to swap out is just a cool touch. And I love the fact that they include that with the case. And so the Torres shockproof case, definitely a fun case that is minimal while protecting at the same time, giving you the ability to add a little bit of personality to your case as well. Now we're looking at the Crave Slim Guard case for the S22 Ultra. Has a, um, a hard plastic finish on the back with a little bit of a grit to it um, that adds a little bit of grippiness. Not much, but it, for a hard plastic case, it's nice to have that texture on the back of the case. The sides of the case are more silicone feel, so they're a little bit softer. There's a little bit of ridge there on the side of the case, which adds for the grippiness of the case. Overall, I like this case. Um, green would not necessarily be my favorite color for it but as far as the case goes it's got good protection and i think that guard you know that harder plastic on the back you know if your phone is is sitting on the table a lot you know maybe on harder surfaces where you know even a even a another style case might get scratched up this case is going to have a nice protection against the elements it sits nice and flat both uh screen down and on the back side of the case has a bit of protection on the top and the bottom with the edges protruding so that you can see uh, all sides of the phone, which is nice. And so overall, I like this case. Like I said, not the color that I would choose, but it does have good port access and overall is a very nice case. And the fact that they included the softer silicone on the side for grippiness, I think is a huge win on this particular case. The buttons feel good. Everything about this case is pretty good. If you're looking for one that is a little bit more durable with that that hard back, which is gonna protect your case uh, also from scratching, more so maybe than one of the softer finish cases. So I have a lot more cases to go through and we're just going to look at these really fast kind of rapid fire because we've looked at cases from each of these brands already. So we have uh, an encased case here as well. This case is uh, a thicker, more durable case than the previous encase we looked at. This is their uh, Falcon series case. It is a two piece case. So you pull out the inner, put it on your phone and then slide it into the outer. It provides a lot of protection, a lot of stuff going on with that case. Another case from encased here, provides uh, harder protection, kind of like that, uh, that Crave case we looked at. Uh, this is the Rebel series, so it has that harder plastic finish, you know, uh, more durable, while still on the side having some grippiness to the side of it. Overall, a decent case. I like this design on the inside, uh, feels really nice. And overall, this Rebel Series case is going to provide a lot of protection to your phone. Now, uh, on the thicker side of things, they've got a case here. Um, this also, the Falcon Series, but it also has a kickstand built in. And so with that kickstand, which sometimes these kickstands can be kind of a pain in the butt to open the first time, um, you've got a durable kickstand that's going to work for uh, landscape and portrait viewing. And so overall, um, sometimes these kickstand cases you know, are just really nice form and function right there. Um, in the VRS design, we've got a case that is completely clear all the way around here. This case is their Terra Guard Crystal Clear series case, um, a nice case clear looking. This case is their Quick Stand Pro and has a stand built into it. 
And so if we look at this case really quickly here, uh, we've got a kickstand built into it as well. Uh, center design kickstand, and so it's not going to work as a portrait view, but as a landscape view, it's going to work really well. And uh, so overall, I do like this case. I probably would choose the one that is dual function over this single function uh, kickstand style case, but overall pretty good. So this uh, Glide Series hybrid case from VRS has the best of both worlds. It has the ability to fit a couple of cards in there, and then it also has the kickstand. And so the kickstand popping out, this kickstand is going to work both in portrait and landscape mode. So I think a great option here for those of you that want the kickstand, also want the ability to store a couple of cards. We have a couple of additional cases, a metal kickstand series case um, in a different color for the ESR and then a similar case but clear um, with the ESR. The ESR cases are really nice. And lastly, I've got a couple more cases here that are also from VRS Design. Lots of options and colors. Most of these cases that I talked about here today come in a variety of different colors and even style variations as well. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my personal favorite is the spec case and I am putting my phone back into that spec case right now. I love this phone case and I think it's a great option. So that's gonna do it for this video. Links are down in the description below. This video is quite long, so I appreciate you sticking around. Uh, click on those links to see the pricing, the color options, and all the variations that are available of these cases. Thanks so much for watching through the video. Make sure to subscribe and click that thumbs up, and we'll see you back in another video soon. Take care.